Hello, I'm Asa Ahmed. A BBC London investigation has revealed bacteria in the River Thames which are resistant to antibiotics. Well, scientists have told us they're concerned that if the bacteria becomes very resistant, it could lead to a new disease which can't be treated. Thames Water accepts that more needs to be done to manage what they call possible antibiotic resistance, as Liana Hosier reports. Great cities have always sprung up next to great rivers, and the meandering River Thames is the lifeblood of London. But how clean is the water? We're going to do a spot check and find out. I'm testing near Richmond Bridge. And the reason why we've come here is because there's a sewage outfall from the water treatment plant just there. Well, who knows what we're going to find, but we're going to send these off to the lab up in Warwick. We'll find out soon. I also gathered samples to the west, upriver in the non-tidal Thames, around Teddington Lock, and in the heart of London, at the Serpentine Lake in Hyde Park. Millions of tonnes of raw sewage is dumped into the River Thames yearly. Master boat builder Mark Edwards has worked in Richmond for 25 years and says the problem is getting worse. When you get a storm, an enormous storm in London, the sewers can't cope and out comes some of the sewage. Many of us use antibiotics, which end up making their way into the sewage system and then our rivers in both treated and raw sewage. This is spreading bacteria resistant to antibiotics and that's a problem because it could stop the drugs from working. If any of them become very resistant, then it's like a new disease. It's an re-emerging as, as an untreatable infection and people are dying from these, so it, it's a serious problem. What really concerns scientists is if someone picks up these bugs, they can spread it to others. Not good news. Yeah. And they found antibiotic resistance bugs in both Richmond and the Serpentine Lake, although Teddington got the all clear. That is surprising. There's a lot of exposure to, to resistance genes, which we're now showing you there are there. Not only does it mean that, that while swimming is, is quite dangerous, but that water is used to irrigate land, so it can go on to crops and it's used for animals uh, as drinking water. So, you know, r rivers are important part of our ecosystem. The Royal Parks say the Serpentine Lake is regularly tested and safe to swim in. But I want to know why Thames Water aren't doing more when other countries have treatments that filter it out. At the moment, it's not clear how that risk um, is important compared to other mechanisms for spreading antibiotic resistance. We need to understand all of that before we can start looking at whether there are new treatment processes that are in fact necessary because those treatment processes will be expensive. Before you go for a dip, you might want to think about what you're getting into. Liana Hosea, BBC London.